Now in this video we shall uh, simulate the CG amplifier uh, with some practical circuit assuming some R signal 0, 100 uh, ohm as well as uh, uh, some different values of R signal. So this is a circuit diagram what we have it for uh, a CG amplifier. The input is applied at the source. So with the use of this coupling capacitor and RS is provided to have a uh, path for the drain current to flow through this. So with these assumptions so the value of uh, VG comes out to be 1.1 volt. Uh, to have a VG of 1.1, 1 .1, so uh, from this expression, so we assume the value of R1 to be 100 kilo ohms. Then R2 comes out to be 157.1 kilo ohms. And uh, the expression for AV with R signal 0 is given by GM into RD plus R0 by R0 divided by 1 plus R. This is RD divided by R0 whole divided by 1 plus. Let me just have a look at uh, this expression. Uh, in order to uh, start the design, we need to know the value of W bell. So, from this expression of ID, we know everything except uh, W bell, which can be found out, and uh, it was found out to be 115.74. And uh, we know the expression for GM, which is given by under root of uh, 2 ID mu and C ox into W bell. Substituting those values, we'll get uh, the GM as 4.8 milli ohm inverse. We will also find the value of R0 which is 1 over lambda into ID which comes out to be 200 kilo ohms. Uh, since RD is equal to 1 kilo ohm, we can actually estimate the uh, AV here which comes out to be 4.78 volt per volt which is from the calculation. We shall do the uh, same uh, design using the LT spice and then try to uh, verify the simulation results. So we shall go to uh, LT spice and try to see what it now this circuit uh, of uh, CG amplifier rigged up uh, on LT spice. You can see R1, R2 uh, will going to provide a gate voltage of 1.1 uh, volt, uh, which will have a drop of uh, 0.5 volt across RS, and uh, remaining 0.6 happens to be VGS. And this is RD of 1 kilo ohm. So the VIN is applied. So we are applying a uh, AC source. And uh, uh, let us assume that initially the series resistance, uh, the source resistance of this uh, source, let it be zero. So let us first type, first do the dot op. So we have also considered the model parameters uh, of the MOSFET as uh, kp, vto, and lambdas are uh, given over here. So we are not assuming any uh, capacitance here. So that's why uh, when we actually see the frequency response, we don't have uh, the high frequency uh, plot will be. Uh, not reducing uh, for higher frequencies. So let us do the dot op and try to find out what are the DC conditions, whether we have a current of uh, 500 uh, microampere and uh, a gate voltage of 1.1, uh, which results in a uh, gate to source voltage of uh, 0.6 volts. So this is dot op now. So as you can see now, the gate voltage is 1.099, which is actually 1.1 volt close to. And uh, we'll see the drain current, which is uh, now you can see 494 uh, microamperes, which we expected to be uh, 500 microampere. And we can also see uh, the gate uh, drain to source voltage. So this is drain voltage 1.3, and the source voltage is uh, almost 0.5. The VDS happens to be 0.8. So all these are almost close to our design values. So now uh, with these proper DC conditions, we can certainly go for finding the uh, gain of the amplifier. So for that let us uh, uh, change this to the AC sweep and uh, we shall edit the parameters. So these are the parameters for your AC sweep. Now that has been modified. So let me run this and try to see what is. Now this is the frequency response of this circuit. Now I can see at higher frequency it is not falling because uh, we are not edited any CGS or CGDOs. And we'll also have a look at okay what is W bell of this MOSFET. So which was found out to be uh, one micrometer is the length and uh, width is 115.74, which was actually calculated in our uh, uh, values. If we just have a look at now, you can see this is the W bell, uh, which is which was calculated. The same is being edited there in the LT spice. So this is 115. So let us find out what is the gain. So gain is supposed to be so from your uh, Calculation gain is supposed to be uh, 4.78 volt per volt. 
So let us first find out what is the gain in simulation. If, if you actually double click on this, we have the gain plot is, uh, I can see it is 13.59 uh, dBs. So this is in dBs. If you actually uh, find out what is the gain here, I can say this is 13.59 dBs uh, in simulation. We can actually find uh, what is volt per volt from this 13.59, uh, which can be calculated using uh, this. Uh, you will get 4.78 uh, by 10 power 13.59 divided by 20. So by doing that calculation, you will get the the voltage gain in simulation is also found out to be 4.78, which was exactly uh, the theoretical value also. This is from calculation, this is from simulation. So they are exactly matching. So this is with R signal as 0. So this is what is R signal 0. So let us see what happens uh, if, if I slightly change the R signal. So now this is with R signal is equal to 1 kilo ohm. The expression changes. So this 4.78 is multiplied by this extra term, which is 1 over gm in parallel with RS. Uh, divided by R signal plus 1 over gm plus Rs. So that's what we found in the previous video. So the R signal will actually uh, make your gain to reduce. Now since R signal is 1 kilo ohm, if you actually calculate the gain of uh, uh, the circuit, uh, it was coming out to be 0 0.702. Now you can see the gain is reduced uh, too much and it is less than 1. And uh, we have actually verified that in simulation also by editing the uh, source resistance. Now with R signal as 10 ohm, so we have simulated and got the value as 13.10 uh, dB. The corresponding uh, volt per volt gain is 4.51. So this way we can able to get uh, the simulation of a CG amplifier for different values of R signal. Uh, this is uh, the LT SPI simulation of CG amplifier. So okay, you can have a look at uh, this amplifier. So it, it is as per the design R1, R2 are calculated. This is the load resistor. This is the resistor which is used to provide the ID so that uh, you can uh, think of a practical circuit. And uh, we obtain the value of uh, uh, gain by varying different values of R source or R signal. So this is the resistance associated with the source. So this way we can do the common gate amplifier comfortably and we can verify the simulation result with the theoretical result.